Last time I worked on the eyes, and with those now done, I can now start to concentrate on the areas of hair that surround them. I establish a sharp point on my 4H pencil, and then use this to create a transition between the darker and lighter areas. The 4H is a relatively hard light pencil, but by running it through another tone, it will effectively pick this up and carry it, creating a smooth transition, as well as indenting the texture into the paper. To sharpen a hard pencil like this, I just use a regular pencil sharpener and then simply finish the tip with a small file like this one. Now this can produce an incredibly sharp point, so it is a good idea to use it on a piece of scrap paper first, before then going back into the picture itself. I'm now ready to start to indent some texture into the paper, and because the area of hair that I'm working on is relatively coarse, and it's quite a large picture, I'm going to use the thicker of the two darts that I have to do this. A blunt 2B pencil is then applied over the top, revealing the indented texture. Now for any areas of hair which have a less coarse texture to them, I can simply switch to the finer of the two darts, use a short stroke and then just dab the 2B pencil over the top to create this effect. When using this technique, it is worth remembering that it is not only the texture that is indented into the paper, but also how the pencil is applied over the top that goes into creating the desired effect. As more layers of pencil are applied, the darker the tone gets, producing a stronger contrast. And as a result, the more the texture will stand out. Now in any areas where the texture changes between the finer to the coarser hair, the thing that I actually want to do is to overlap the two textures. So this way it will create a very smooth transition, and the way to do this is to just simply use both darts and overlap the two textures. The pencil is applied the same way, using a mixture of shorter and longer strokes and this will blend the two areas together. If a texture looks too harsh, I can always brush tone down into the indentation with a blending stump, as well as also re-establishing dark tones with a 4B pencil. These areas will constantly be changed as the picture develops. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.